I'm Joy Heath Rush. I promise you have nothing written on my hand. I'll put it up here so you can see. Um, what I'd like to say in introduction to my topic, Law 2020, I have a staff person that have worked for me for many years, and when I go to her and say, what's going to happen with this issue in your area? And she says, how am I supposed to know? My crystal ball's in the wash. And I'm here to tell you, your crystal ball isn't in the wash. We've got it. There are things we can look at and think about to prepare for the next decade. And I'm going to spend the first couple of minutes talking to you about what resources are available to you. In my day job, I work for Sidley Austin, one of those small firms that you hear about all the time. I've been there almost 25 years. Yes, I was six when I started. But in my other job, I'm a representative of ILTA, the International Legal Technology Association. It's a peer networking association with about 1,200 member entities representing about 12,000 individual participants who work in the legal technology arena. And we have put together an initiative called Law 2020. It was launched, announced this month. It launches officially in June, and it's a series of publications, webinars, road shows, uh, articles, white papers, and even themed conference sessions that talks all about how we prepare for the next decade. One of our themes for Law 2020 is what if law firms go through the same kind of transformation in the next decade that journalism went through in the last? So I think what Ed said leads into that very well. We have to expect that kind of radical transformation in what we're doing. So how do we get our arms around that? It's like boiling the ocean. So there are a few things that Law 2020 will focus on, a few areas of critical interest. Who we are, our skills, our age, all the people in the workplace that make up the law practice. Where we are, not just our lawyers, where are our clients? Where are our experts? Where are our colleagues? And what are the tools that we're going to use? Now, we're technology people, so we're going to focus on that. But technology is an awfully big part of it. I once had one of my lawyers say to me, you know, Joy, my yellow legal pad has never let me down. There are probably some people in this room who don't know what that means. Okay. And this is when we were first introducing computers. Because lawyers do the same tasks they've always done, but they need tools to do it better, faster, more accurately. So we need to focus on our tools. So there are three kind of ideas I want you to walk away with today. The first one is the boomer exodus. We are in a very unusual workplace now in terms of who we are, is that we have Gen Xers, Gen Yers, baby boomers, at our firm, we even have senior counsel well into their 80s, the World War II generation, who are still working. In fact, the street, one of the streets up in a few blocks up is named for him. He still comes into work every day. That's not going to last long. In fact, had it not been for the meltdown that Ed just talked to you about, we would have seen the baby boomers start exodusing already. And as the economy starts to improve over the next couple of years, you'll see those boomers who wanted to retire last year begin retiring in droves. Are you ready? Have you, have you captured their expertise? Are they mentoring anyone? Who's handling their client relationships? One of the things I hear from our younger partners in particular is I spend so much time practicing law, I can't do all those other things that I need to do for the business. Clients want my time. They don't want my first year associate's time or my third year associate's time. They want my time. So how am I also going to serve on administrative committees and mentor the next generation of leaders? Well, all of you that are lawyers know you're very results-driven people. You just sleep less to get all those things done. But if we have that generation leave us all at once over a year or two, what gap do we have that we haven't been prepared to fill? That's one of the areas, the generational change, that Law 2020 is going to focus on. The second idea I want you to walk away with is access. Anytime, anywhere, to people, to data, to applications, to everything. In my job currently at Sidley, and I've done a lot of different things, I'm focusing on collaborative technologies, particularly video telepresence, video conferencing, desktop video conferencing, web conferencing, all the 21st century collaboration tools. When I first started in this job, I heard a lot of people say, wow, there are cost savings that come with travel reduction. OK, that's not why you don't want to travel. You don't want to travel because you can't be out of touch with your clients for six hours while you're on an airplane. 
So we need to figure out how to give you access to your clients and your data, whether you're sitting at home with a sick child or in an airplane or in a time zone 12 hours away from your home, with it being invisible. The last piece I want you to walk away with is the idea of irrelevancy. Not of you, not of us, not of people, but the irrelevancy of location. That's not exactly the same thing as access that we just talked about. Irrelevancy of location means I'm looking for a piece of data. I don't care where it is. I don't care if it's in a paper file. I don't care if it's in my document management system, if it's in my email, if my secretary has it. If it's an image or a picture that I scanned, I don't know how long ago. I shouldn't have to go to 20 different places to find it. I should have a way to find this data wherever it is and retrieve it whenever I want to. Also, location has to be irrelevant. Where you're working, where your client is working, and where your experts are working. So I hope that we are going to be able to give you some resources going forward I know you'll be able to download the slide decks tomorrow. There's a lot of information in there about Law 2020 and what ILTA can do for you. And remember, your crystal ball's not in the wash. Thank you very much.